G'day guys, Melbourne Scrapper here. Today we're going to find out how much copper is on your average television yoke. I scrapped six yokes, this is all the copper I got. So let's have a look at some numbers that I crunched. Basically what I did was I took out all the, the uh, copper nuggets and took a, as much copper as I could off the ferrite. And look, bear in mind that you know there are little pieces stuck in this glue. Uh, and there's a tiny bit of glue in there, but it's not going to bear on the weight too much in your scrapyard, really shouldn't mind. Alright, so let's have a look at the numbers. So we had six yolks. Total there was nine pounds of them, 9.35, 4.25 kilo. So that's an average of one and a half pound, uh, 710 gram. The average price at 18 cents a pound, 40 cents a kilo. And I know in America you can get 20 to 28 cents. So, you know, plug in the numbers that are relevant to you. You're looking at about 28, 30 cents just for the yoke, as is untouched. Now, if you come and scrap it and you bring, bring out copper number two, this is all copper number two, it's got a varnish on it, and even if you have copper number one, it might have a bit of glue on it, so it'll probably save it as scrap it as copper number two. Uh, total was 1.376 kilo, three pound. Looking at the prices, five bucks a kilo, 2.27 a pound, it's recent prices. We're in 2013 here, November, December. Um, so, in total, 688, right? So that's going to give you an average amount in dollar terms of a buck and fourteen cents. So you're looking at a dollar a piece. Now there are going to be some monster TV yokes from monster televisions that'll give you more. They're going to be teeny weeny ones which will slide to the, the shorter end of that. So this is your average, right? The average you expect to get a dollar worth of copper. Now it's about half a pound or 229 grams. So I hope that answers the question. Again, I'm really personally just going to stick to zero that out. Scrapping the nuggets. I get 50 cents. So I get half of the value of the copper and I don't have to fiddle all around with the ferrite. That's a personal choice and I understand those who, you know, would like to take the time to strip it further. Alright guys, give it a go. Have a good one.